I came to Germany in 2006 and uh, I was, um, you know, working in research here in, in Berlin and I was happy with my job and, you know, life was, life was great. But um, I remember, you know, my wife and, and her mom to yeah, say to me, like, you've studied dentistry, maybe you could work as a, as a dentist in Germany. And I knew it would be great, you know, because dentistry is something that I love. Um, I, but I remember one day in church, sitting in church in the Meistersaal, the Mark was preaching a message and, uh, and this, he said something that stuck to me. He said that God is not concerned about what you're doing. He's much more concerned about who you are becoming. And, and if you have a dream, you should just go for it. Like that message you spoke deeply into my heart and I was like, okay, so it's probably it's probably something for me. It's probably that dream I have in my heart to have my own clinic. Um, I should actually get started. And uh, so that's what I did. So I went through that process of validating my degree in Germany. It took a lot of faith, definitely. You know, I remember days when I would wake up and then not really, you know, feeling motivated to go to work because it would be another hard day when it comes to communication. I would go home very frustrated. So it took a lot of learning, took a lot of uh, patience. And obviously, you know, good people around you who, you know, speaks life into you and do not take you down, but actually um, speak God's words into your life. And that helped me a lot. So the project started out of a being in a community and willing to be part of the of the community and help as well. We want to find a family who actually doesn't have the financial needs to um, pay for a dental treatment, which can be very expensive. So our dream was to, to actually provide for them a new smile and they wouldn't have to pay for it. So that was our goal. Um, so I partnered with a dental laboratory and uh, the guys are also from the community. So they actually um, found this, this family to bring back dignity, to bring back a news mind. That self-confidence that you might lose if, you, if your teeth are not looking great. I remember the way uh, he walked in uh, into this room and we were talking for the first time and, uh, and how um, unhappy he was. But I could see in his face that uh, there was something missing. And, uh, and I, when I saw it, I was uh, like, okay, I know what God can do in his life if we just step in with the natural. And at that day when I finished the work, I saw this smile in his face and I could see how, you know, God using our hands could actually give a new hope, bring back that self-confidence that was lost. Um, like I remember when, when I gave him the mirror and he looked at himself in the mirror, I saw uh, that smile. I can still see that smile in my face. Like he, 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 changed, he changed everything. We actually have a message of hope. We actually have a message of, uh, it's your story is not finished yet. You have a story to tell. And uh, like Olaf's story is not finished yet. He's got a new story to tell. His new smile. And, uh, and I'm sure he's gonna tell a new story. We could do it as a church as well. Tell our story and God has, and how God has changed our lives um, through that. Redemption through the death of Jesus on the cross.